Hey everybody, Crash here again with another VR gameplay video. Today I'm going to be playing Light Repair Team number 4, as you can tell by the giant logo on the screen. Um, in the interest of full disclosure, I, I should tell you guys that I was given a copy of this game by my friend Frozen, who you may know as the creator of CP Snowplow, which is in Team Fortress 2. Um, him and I have been buddies, we just met back when we went to, I went to PAX recently, hey I had my shirt on. Um, and he gave me a copy of this to try out, and if I wanted to make a video, he said that was cool. Um, this will be just my kind of overview of what the game is and some pros and cons of what I like about it, what I don't like. Um, I will try not to be biased. Um, so the, the point of the game is to manipulate these light beams here, and we have a couple different tools, primarily these mirrors, that we can reflect these beams. It's really cool. This, this isn't a game that could exist without VR, and I love that about VR. I love seeing these games that are getting made that aren't possible in a standard you know, monitor. It's, you have to have this 3D space. So this is the main menu. Uh, we have one through, where does it go? 25. Um, the, the idea behind Light Repair Team number four is that we are a team of, uh, a repair team that is going off and repairing these light pipes, these light beams. Um, we have to reconnect the city. Um, in order to do so, we must reflect the light and manipulate it. We'll start with level one here. It's a little finicky, the controls. Um, there could probably be some smoothing added. Uh, so you can see, real, real basic, level one. We have our target up there. We have a blue beam coming out of here, and we have a single reflector. So we will take the reflector, and we will put it up there. So it's a really neat puzzle game um, that, that I actually really like. Um, I, I look forward to when it gets expanded more. Right now, there's not really a whole lot of progression to it. All the levels are unlocked at the very beginning, um, and I hope to see some kind of progression system put in. Okay, so our yellow beam is needs to go up here. And our blue beam, where does it go? Needs to go up there. That's one thing too. I think it could be a little bit more defined as to where these targets are, because you kind of end up scrambling to find them. There, you can see the buildings coming on. That's, that's a really nice touch. It, may, it really gives it a nice atmosphere. Whoa, that beam is right near my face. <laughs> you really want to duck under the beams. Um, I know Frozen is currently adding, uh, he's working on five new levels to add to the game. Uh, it's definitely a continual process. He's going to be expanding the game further. I'm still ducking beams. Um, <laughs> uh, I know he's got a lot of big plans for it. And if you happen to have a Vive and would like to win a copy of this, stick around to the very end and I will explain how. I have a few codes to give out, and we're going to keep playing this in the meantime. I'm going to go through a few more levels. Uh, this is a, a neat feature where you can combine. We have our red and our yellow beam, and we combine it into orange. So we'll point it at the orange target, and we will reflect our yellow here. So you can see once you get more beams and more colors, um, it starts getting really complicated. So we have an orange target up there, a red target there. My headphone is wanting to pull out because I didn't do that good of a job putting it in. Uh, so we have a red and our orange. We have our focuser, whatever you want to call it. And we have two red beams. Okay, so I'm going to take this red beam and just bounce it right back. Right there. And now we need to, roughly about there, focus our yellow beam. And our second red beam. There. And aim that at the orange. And the city lights come on. So now we got some new colors. We got 
yellow and blue that are combining down there as a focuser down there that we cannot get to. We have some reflectors and then we have another new object which is a splitter. So this splits our green beams into blue and yellow. So you can kind of see how a combination of all these things can be pretty cool. There's our yellow beam. Oh, I missed. And there is our blue beam. So I got to watch him uh, Frozen give demos of this at PAX, and there was a lot of people lining up for it. And it was really cool. He kind of just last minute got noticed that he was going to get to have a little booth. And uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. So we have our purple beam, a red target, an orange target, and a, and a blue target up there. Okay. So we're going to need to split... our purple beam to get our blue beam. We need our, whoops, we need a red beam and a yellow beam that needs to get focused into an orange beam. And our extra red, whoops, our extra red beam will go here. <laughs> so as you can see, they start to get more and more complicated. This time we have three colors, red, yellow, and blue, combining into white. We can split them back up. And here, it's very similar to the iconic <laughs> Light Repair Team logo. Um, so that's Light Repair Team. It, ge it gets a, a lot more complicated after this. Um, there's a lot of really cool moving features. Some of it can get a little frustrating later on, but I have given that feedback to Frozen, and he knows where I stand on it. Uh, <laughs> but it, overall, it's a really fun game. It's worth, it's not that expensive on Steam. Um, it's, I fully say it's worth your purchase. If you are trying to look for some new VR experiences, it's a very atmospheric world, um, and it's a unique puzzle game that you're not going to get anywhere else in any other kind of gaming experience. So I highly recommend checking it out. Um, so on to, if, if you happen to have a Vive, if you are planning on getting a Vive, I have a code that I, will, I am going to be giving out. All you need to do to enter to win the code is leave a comment below saying that you have a Vive or you are planning on getting one very soon. Um, I do want to give these out to people who... Uh, you know, are going to actually use the game. I'd rather have somebody play the game than just have it sit in their Steam library. So it's just going to be honor system. Please, you know, <laughs> be polite about it. Um, but I'll wait about a week. I will draw randomly from it, and I will send you a message. Uh, if I do not get a reply back within 24 hours in the message, I will move on to the next person because I know the messaging system is kind of wonky. So that is Light Repair Team number four created by Eerie Bear Games. I really hope you guys check it out. There'll be a link in the description to the Steam page. Put it on your wish list. Uh, check it out. Check out some of the screenshots. Check out all that fun stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to enter the contest if you are interested in winning this game. Peace.